on kind of a life of its own. It's like its own character kind of comes out and it, it becomes something more than just, you know, kind of a one show, a one time thing. Um, the other thing that's really cool about it is just the, the amount of response and the amount of people, like where it's gone from <laughs> one group of people to another group of people, to like we're now seeing people, uh, you know, relink to these, these images on Pinterest. And it's just like, it has this kind of weird life of its own sort of thing. And that's something I never, ever, I ever would have expected, you know? And, and, and I just, I just kind of marvel at it. Because it's one of those things that's like, this is what happens when you just sort of let something go and set it out there in the world. And then the world starts to do whatever it's going to do with it. Um, which is just a really, it's kind of this kind of eyeball social experiment sort of, uh, you know, it's a thing that I can't, I can't gauge, and I certainly can't control, and, I mean, we just kind of, uh, grin and bear it, and sort of, uh, you know, just like, at each step, you kind of, kind of look with this kind of wide-eyed amazement, like, wow, look, check this out, you know, so-and-so is somewhere, you know, some other country or some other, some other place has really latched onto this, like, like it's something that, 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 that they want ownership, that either they want have, or, you know, kind of part of, and that's really wild. Um, it's like, it's like something culturally or spiritually that isn't, that not every artist is. And the funny thing too is that, you know, in a weird way, you know, there's bits and pieces of my own past that even, you know, gave me interest in any of this stuff visually. You know, I was, I was a kid that, you know, as a baby, I was probably dragged through most of the cities in the mountains of, of Mexico uh, just because my parents were, were that interested in the culture. Um, so, you know, it was kind of one of these things that, like, it wasn't something I was completely aware of. It was just a, a thing that was there. Um, you know, I was also lucky enough to have parents that had been around the arts and had been around things that were more, more eth eth ethnic, ethnically, culturally related, so that it wasn't seeing a bunch of you know, books or magazines or things like that. Like, I was seeing artifacts and I was, I was really one of those kids who was dragged to, to a gazillion museums as part of, you know, we went on a trip with the family and, you know, instead of going to some, you know, theme park or something, you know, we were pulled through <laughs> every museum. But right, it's funny, I saw, a, you know, it's like a fucking cut when, when that whole show came to the United States in the 70s. And, I mean, all these things kind of have that weird way of, you know, sneaking into your psyche and affecting what you do. So, you know, I'm, I, I make pop art, and I make pop art that's obviously, that's got a very huge um, kind of familial relationship to graffiti. Because those are things that that have to do with you know, my my culture and the things that I've lived with. But then all these other <laughs> things like the, the, the images and the and the subject matter. I mean, it all comes out of this stuff that I was kind of forced to to digest as a child. Um, I mean, to be doing things that are kind of ethno pop. <laughs> As far as an artist, it's just kind of, it's still, I kind of, there, there are days where I'm like, you know, why don't I just do this, it, you know, something simple, um, but it's just, I'm not, my brain, it's just, my brain is not wired that way. I mean, the, the, the obviously the fun thing about this image is that, you know, these are things that, you know, wild wire are really dear to me. But to then watch other people, you know, grab onto it like it's their own and then take it and run with it is like, that, that just is, that that's just the ultimate kind of flattery at the end of the day. You know, I, I could never have said, 
that this would be something that would go any further than you know, what was it what it was originally designed for. You know, now it's now it's all over the place. And, I'm, and, and and on that end, you know, I'm like, I'm really here to see what happens. I don't know. Somebody can wear this on their chest. Just the sheer fact to see what happens. All right, thanks for coming out. When when it becomes that much more personal to somebody in that respect, you know, you know, it becomes part of their fashion and part of their their own statement about who they are on a day to day basis. And I mean, I think the other thing too is, people can have conversations with wherever people are. Oh yeah, that's passion. Well, we, you know, I did this design that's, uh, this is, again, the same kind of three other two nose um, thing with these. And I've got, I've got people that have, have, you know, as far as Finland that are that have bought these shirts. I mean, come on, it, it is. It, it, pop culture imagery, you know? I mean, Hello Kitty is kind of one of these recognized, you know, kind of selling images. But then to, you know, come along and want, you know, for one, kind of mess with it. But then on that end, then to have people that are outside of, you know, my sphere and outside of the world that I live in, to then start to, you know, call it their own. Uh, that's something that I just kind of... I, you know, I couldn't have predicted. I kind of just sit back and smile and and, and you know and wonder where the next one's going to go.